Okay, this is probably gonna be one of the most wackiest videos I've ever done. So a lot of you guys might have already seen, you know, uncopy locked games, like huge games getting uncopy locked. You might have seen the fake uncopy locked version of Brick Bronze get to the front page once or twice, you know? That, that's a pretty common thing nowadays. But you see, the issue with a lot of these uncopy locked games is they're like completely broken. They either just pull the entire map, they don't actually have like any server sided scripts. I think Brick Bronze is actually the one exception to that. That where I, I don't even know how they got that but they they literally got all of the code for brick bronze someone over on my discord though sent me something about massive roblox games like pet simulator x being recently uncopy locked right for instance the tall cat that was recently introduced to pet simulator x that version is an uncopy locked version that is now available for everyone to use with server sided scripts and everything and these games have thousands of people playing them we're gonna go check it out right now so if we go over to my discord server mr uh magashi I, I don't even know how you pronounce your name but he, he wrote a post here and it says pet simulator x fully scripted versions what firstly uploading a fully scripted uncopy locked version of a game can lead to copyright infringement as it essentially allows others to create a near identical copy of the game without the original developer's permission this not only violates the intellectual property rights of the original developer but also undermines their efforts to create a unique and engaging gaming experience i think that's fairly known if you re-upload a version of someone else's work they you're a jerk like you're a jerk it's that simple however the recent trend of uploading fully scripted uncopy locked versions of games such as pet simulator x has raised concern about the risk of ethical implications of the game and he went ahead and sent this which is a pet simulator x and this is a recent version of it because we can see the tall pet which i think was added in the last pet simulator later x update and uh he went ahead and sent us a game too All right, let's go check this out okay so here it is uh and 1655 people are playing this game what okay we gotta go check this out bro, this is pet simulator x man what the heck oh my god pick my pet bro we just play pet simulator x now oh this is crazy oh my gosh what is this stuff I haven't played Pet Sim in so long. Bro, this is so goofy. Oh my gosh, look, people have the tall pet. Here, wait, let's use some of these codes. Oh, wait, oh, we have infinite cash. Oh, oh, I'm buying I'm buying the tall egg. Let me get the tall egg. Guys, I'm officially a Pet Sim channel. Oh, let's see what I got. Oh, very cool. Okay, this game is really goofy. Bro, 1,000 people were playing that game. It is literally just Pet Simulator X. I have so many questions. See, I've never seen an uncopy locked version have that many people playing the game. Like, okay, I've seen Brick Bronze have about the same. But the difference between Brick Bronze and that, Brick Bronze isn't on Roblox anymore. Like, you literally can't play that game anymore. And this Pet Simulator X game, Pet Sim is still on Roblox. You can literally go play Pet Simulator X, but this game has a almost 2,000 people playing it during school hours. Like, I'm recording this at 11 a.m. on a Thursday. Bro, I have literally so many questions about this. Like, this is, like, actually crazy. And the guy who wrote that Discord news thing that he sent to me, he actually went ahead and sent some more stuff of, like, photos of, like, him in studio with Pet Simulator X. Of course, he didn't publish this and add it to Roblox. He's just, you know, showing for educational purposes. But, like, bro, how is this on Roblox? How are there Pet Simulator X games with thousands of people playing them. And I mean, it is just a creative version of Pet Simulator X, but I'd imagine that would get boring real quick. See, we talked about someone a few weeks ago that was literally just uncopy locking every game from like Da Hood to Piggy to so many other games. But Chase Rudy actually went ahead and showed that most of them were just maps. Like, that, there wasn't really that many scripts. It, it was pretty unplayable. This is just a fully functioning version of Pet Simulator X. Like, I don't even understand how that's even possible. I have so many questions about this. This is definitely one of the most wild and bizarre things things i've seen happen on roblox in a very long time especially with there almost being 2,000 people playing this during school hours like i'm gonna be willing to bet that when school's out this game's gonna get to at least five to ten thousand players that's usually how it goes honestly i really want to hear what your guys's thoughts on this are because i am so confused and i have so many different questions about this J just for one have you guys seen anything like this on roblox before because i haven't this, this is like next level of copying roblox games but i really want to hear your guys opinions on this because it is crazy
crazy or what? Like, I've seen nothing like this with me being on Roblox for, like, almost 11 years now. But anyways, gamers, I think we're wrapping up towards the end of today's video. If you liked today's video, please make sure you're subscribed. We are trying to hit 30k by the end of the month. And let me give a quick shout-out to someone who follows me over on Twitter. Shout-out to Basic FPS Games for following me. But anyways, guys, we're gonna wrap up today's video here. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone!